So what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the FC Zurich career mode and today we're gonna have the full transfer window I think we're gonna do it in full because we don't have much to do and there's only one match so there's not a lot of traffic so I'm gonna go simulate the first day of the transfer window and Zimbru should leave and we get his money we have again available the scout so let's see this, the youth report so Lathi's potential has gone down drastically actually minus 4 to his maximum potential but his rating is going up the only thing I don't like about this guy is that he has a right he's right footed and he's a left back so I don't like that much so Montedon is going down by potential as I thought even Ebel's potential is going down but his rating is always going up and the thing I don't like about Ebel is that he's quite short he's not that tall Maze has the best potential currently in the whole team the clerk is uh, decent let's say that Gas Gash is just terrible I'm gonna let him go if he keeps next month if he's gonna have 77 marks potential he's going away so now the clerk Noah the clerk so he's gonna sign him just because he has a very good potential and he's young so he can develop um, nobody good in here can release everybody um, now an Argentinian trash player again and um, now the Swiss guys this guy would have been good if he had a good rating. I'm gonna leave him here. It's a real shame he has a bad rating because he has a very good potential. So guys, you got an interesting off for a player I haven't played at all this season and I don't think I'm gonna play because he's quite short as a centre back. It's a very low offer. I I have rejected a much higher offer than before. So I'm gonna delegate it and uh, see if I can get 400k minimum sale of 300k if we can get this kind of deal for Bangor I can consider signing someone from here so we've got Sturgeo so, which is a very very good center back very young is like Omar Rajik but even better so this would be very interesting signing Santiago could be good Bruno Alves an old signing which is very experienced and very good for the team we have could take the place of Nathan in the first team lineup and Burke which is a young center back not very good very cheap so guys an agreement for Umaru Bangura which I don't think he's very happy at the club either I'm gonna try to get a bit more out of him and if they accept it then he can leave so this is my counter offer which they accept straight away and Bangura could be on his way to this club Club Sportive Gazmetin Medias I'm gonna see if he leaves, if he doesn't leave I'm not even gonna bother myself trying to get someone but if he leaves I'm gonna be the first one to sign someone. So guys Bangura has been sold, we have now 250k in our budget added. I don't know what budget we actually have though, we've got 300k, we've got a million now, we've got 1 million to spend on a centre back this January. So. I can't deny I'd really love to bring in Bruno Alves in but it's quite cost it costs quite some money to get him in it costs half a million actually even a bit less so I cons I'm gonna consider I'm gonna think about it guys and come back to you so guys I've made my decision I think I'm going for Bruno Alves He's quite the best one. He's got three star skill moves, three star weak foot, one eight nine tall, 
We got four traits, power header, leadership, long pass and power free kick. He could be a real boost to our squad. And he doesn't even cost that much. He, he's quite old, I have to say. We can give them a big salon clause because I don't think he's gonna, we're gonna sell him. He's gonna retire the club, I think, now. Um, do you have anybody to offer? I don't think so. So let's go straight with the transfer fee. Let's go with 400k plus 25% salon clause. Which they don't accept, but they counter offer with an additional 900k. So I'm gonna go back with a 900 and 450k. They still want that much. Um, I'm gonna counter offer just because they don't want to make them happy. And they accept 470k for Bruno Alves, 73 rated, 38 year old, but still very good. So guys, we're here in the negotiating room to negotiate Bruno Alves' contract. So, he wants to be a crucial first team player, which I can give it to him straight away. Um, years contract, two maybe, two, two years. Let's give him two years, which he wants, great. Release clause. I'd like to give him a release clause, I'm not gonna lie, if anybody would want to pay Nah, for 800k, I don't think it's even worth it I'm gonna give him th that release clause, I don't care He's 38, if somebody wants to pay it, they can get him It's good money for us Now, this is quite a lot for us, for a club like ours, so I'd like to give a 100k signing bonus but reduce his salary to 10.5 guys i'm gonna go with it bruno alves is a new fc zurich player oh my god what a signing this could be if he performs well this is gonna be a great signing so now guys we have the first and only match in the transfer window in the first match of the year as well 2020 FC Zurich versus FC Lisbon so we go into this match with a bit of confidence of course because they're not the best team we go with formation to Conan Goal, Ryuig, Nathan, Omaregi and Kerbatsi on the back Dolgoni, Som, De La Vega and Maroni, Mahi and the Mecha up front usual formation which has been good lately didn't let us down apart from the draw against Gordon I think so we go here 25th minute De La Vega up passes it to Mahi and we go 1-0 up of course just tapping from Mahi didn't need to do any acrobatic stuff easy for him slots it home and puts it in front you know quite should be an easy fixture now here 72nd minute we go back in with De La Vega running on that wing as usual going back finds Dom finds Maroni who slots it home the confident finish power finish and easy as that puts it in and puts us 2-0 in front and this game was already closed here and ended wrapped up there was nothing else to do we continue winning so let's see how other games progress though so guys this is how the league table developed so young the game between young boys and basil ended up in 2-0 for basil which for me i think is better because now we reduced the gap between us and young boys which is now only six of six points and we will play young boys in the next month i think yeah even Basel, so we need to try and win every single match. It's gonna be difficult to finish at second second spot in the league table. The third spot is already very good. Second place finish though is very ambitious. I wanna try and go for that. We're not definitely not gonna win the league title this season. Guys, I don't know about you, but I think I've done a really great deal selling Bangura and buying Elvis because there's only a hundred k of difference part 
but apart from the signing bonus and the wages, because they were quite high for Bruno Alves. L look, like, look at our transfer budget right now, plus wage budget. It's quite low, but he could be a great signing for this season, maybe even the next one. So guys, an interesting offer here came for Winter, which I'm going to delegate to try and get 300k, minimum of 200k. I think I am going to sell him next season because I haven't played him once this season. His pre-season was great, but I don't really need him. I already have players to play which are better than him. I'm sorry to see him leave, but we let's be real, we don't really need him. So you guys have done a terrible mistake, I forgot to make the youth um, things, but still I don't think I'm going to do them because I don't have much money, and the last money I have I want to spend it on a substitute goalkeeper for next season, on a free, so this is what I'm going to keep. Um, I don't know if I should sign some players like maybe the clerk no the clerk or uh, luffy or abel which oh my god his potential has decreased so bad oh my god why is he so bad he was such a good prospect and his potential is always going down and down luffy's potential remained the same i think it was really decent but 80 to 86 is really low I think I'm not gonna keep this guy. I'm gonna admit it. I think I'm gonna sign him, then sell him, either for money or either with a big salon clause. That if we, if they sell him, we get a big money. We get big money in. So guys, this is a game of between Zurich and Sion. So we've got to record the first part. So. First goal comes here with a terrible mistake. Formation is the usual one, 4 2 2 2, so don't worry because you don't see the formation. Terrible mistake, man, led to this goal. Absolutely terrible. Look at this. We always suffer these cross crosses. Now we go back to attack with Maroni. Puts it into the middle for Dom Gioni. He passes it back to Mecha and taps it in. Gets us level back again in this match, which we really should win because they're just mid table side mid to low table side so we shouldn't struggle that bad against them but still, still maybe we should because we go they go back and attack passing it off passing great through pass for him and scores and i was fuming here when you see the players change to the goalkeepers because i've been throwing control everywhere so my, some buttons may be, may be pressed while I throw it on the wall and, they, and smack it on the bat. So, game ended here, guys. 2 1, another terrible loss, and we lose still gaps. So guys, I don't think, I don't know where we want to fucking go with this. We lost our four point gap to, to Lugano, now we have only one point gap. We've got 15 gap with Basil and nine again with Young Boys. We're gonna face Basil now and we're gonna, gonna face Young Boys. If we win Basil, then we have some chance to do something, but I don't know what we're gonna do. Hope, I don't think Champions League hopes are live anymore. We only have 16 matches left. A miracle is to go to finish second place. It would be a miracle. So guys, they're back with the offer for winter. It's of 220k. K. So let's gonna we're gonna negotiate this and see what we can get out of it. Maybe a little bit more money. So we're going. Let's see. Um, I think we should go for 207, 270k. No, I'm not gonna give them a salon clause. That's something sure. Um, let's go with a little bit less this time, 255k, um, they offer 240 and I accept that, let's go and make a contract, hopefully Winter accepts, I'm sorry to sell him but it's what needs to be done. 
So guys, the big game here against Basil is coming up. We've got a pre-match conference. Let's see what the questions are going to be. You are just about to start the match versus FC Basel, which occupies the top spot of the league. Are you confident playing against the top? Um, no, I'm not, we, we aren't the better team, let's say it's true. May the best team win, yes, that's a, such a good answer. <coughs> this is a very good answer. European football is looking more and more likely for next season as you continue to, to exceed expectations. Our momentum, it's our responsibility to try. That's what I'm going to say because our momentum is really falling down. Losing a match is so bad for us and we are just did so. How have you prepared for the next match against your rival FC Basel? Um, we are ready, we are ready. So guys, I've changed nothing at all from the formation. I don't believe there's anything to change. I'm gonna insist with this formation because I think it's the best one. Hopefully it doesn't let us down and hopefully we can get a result against FC Basel. So guys, this is the moment. It's we really, really need to win this match. It's really important for our season. We risk letting Lugano get in front of us, even though they're facing younger boys. They still, they still can get in front of us. If, if they can get, get a win, maybe. Who knows? FC Basel, a very good team. We won that. We won against them, and we lost as well. Come on, Maroni. Don't let them do that to you. My God, we're already risking. Oh my god, no way man, Nathan, you don't even know how you do it and you all, always do it, you always do these fucking mistakes, like how man, It's not, I, I can't control it, I really can't control it, it's not in, in my power, look at this man, look at this fucking luck. He gets a header and go. How did it go even there? How did it even go there? Some Mecha. Great goal. Everything is level again. Oh my god. We've, we've got it, guys. We level. We need to go in front. Great play from between Some and Mecha. Come on, Ryuig. Run, Ryuig. Ryuig, come on, run. Somebody, man, get into fucking... What the fuck, man? Are you seeing this? Nathan, he was your man. No, it was Omeragic's man. I can't believe, man. De La Vega, somebody. Why did you give it to Maroni? Mahi, Mahi, get control the fucking ball. You don't have only two touches to do. Great pass for Lucas and Mecha. Lucas and Mecha. Donkioni. Oh, we back level again for the for the second time. Donkioni doesn't miss that. I thought he was, but he didn't. We go back level on two two now. Great goal, guys. Let's not slip again, though. Let's not let them go score and score us again. Great goal. Great teamwork. Great from Ruig. Maybe not so much. Uh, come on. No way. Get in front of the, the striker. And get him go down. Or the fucking crosses and fucking headers. Oh my fucking god. Fuck you, falling to fucking passes. Fucking wasting my fucking time. Oh my god. Come on. Fuck you, Mr. Headers. I can't stand this anymore. Fucking Headers. An incisive pass. Good pull one back here. And he does. Well, maybe, just maybe they could find an equalizer in the time that remains. Okay, fuck off, fuck off, man. 
Yeah, what a fucking disastrous match. Our defense is shit. Absolute shit. Defense is shit. Fucking shit. The Garner have even won. They didn't play against young boys. And they fucking won, so they go to fucking third place. They have three, two points of uh, advantage now, do they? You were hoping for an equalizer after your last goal. We failed to make the fucking difference. I don't give a fuck. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were fucking made. Oh my god, guys. So, Lugano are in front of us with two points. If we win, we go back in front with one point because they lost 5 0 to Young Boys. So you guys still have a chance, so now the gap between us and Basil is absolutely insane, even with us and young boys, because it's 15 points. So you can say we have no chance to to even second place anymore, we not, just need to fight for third place with Lugano and Sion. Hey guys, we're here now for Zurich versus Servat, away from home. Now this match shouldn't have been difficult that much, so Tervad is kind of a mid-table side, I guess. Not, they're not a very good team. I had the starting lineup for different formation: five, two, three, five on the back, just try and keep out the crosses coming in. But as I was saying, corner cleared out, but not cleared out well. They kept on attacking, still tried to score, crosses it in, and what have I just said before? We get a header goal. But still, we don't give up and go back to the attack. On the wing, go back to Moroni, and an absolutely sweet finish. Beautiful finish, just calm and cleanly shot. Finesse into the goal to get us back level with Servette. Maroni has been really good at, well, we'll at curved shots. I'm training him at it as well, so he's keep going to keep on getting better for sure. So now we go back and Del Vega. Look at this pace, man! This guy has such good runs. Puts it in the middle, and I think that's the match here. Yeah? No, Som. Som puts it in, slots it home, and we take the advantage on Servette with a small comeback here. And the game ended hit this way, 2-1. Important win, of course, like every single match. It's an important game. We need to win them all. So, don't underestimate these wins, because I, I really don't. So, we go to this match now against Neuchâtel Zamax. So, they were last in the league table. I've played the same exact formation. Don't, I think maybe I've changed some players. I don't think so though. No, I played the exactly same, exactly the same formation apart from Mumurajik and Nathan are switched. But I'm gonna switch them later in the match. So we go into this match with full confidence as they're last in the in the table. We go with De La Vega, fake shot in, but finds Dom Goni, which slots it home and puts us in front in the thirteenth minute. Great again assist from Del Vega, Dom Goni finally is getting the right finishing. I really hated him when he, get, when he had the bad finishing. Now he's getting his touch well and puts us in front. Now we go here with De La Vega again running on the wing. Still running now, his runs. Man, look at this. Now he tries to put it in the middle. Finds Domgoni again, which gets the double in this match and puts us 2 0 in front and at an hour past of the game. Domgoni really had kind of the game of the season here for him, his personal game of the season, getting the double. But now we have here Califi, who finds Som and puts it in the middle, great passing, and Necha just taps it in and puts us 3 0 in front at the 88th minute. 
and of course now the game has to be wrapped up for us they, they can't then there's no way they could have done anything from here now we go back Janicic the substitute finds a matcher with his pace and match puts it in the middle and Janicic as a substitute even he gets a goal and puts us four in front of our biggest win of the whole se series actually not just season whole series and very comfortable win still even this one is of course an important win every game is important as we're struggling for points seven losses and two draws aren't bad uh, aren't good so we need to keep on winning so guys that's gonna be it for this video we went back in front with four points ahead of Lugano now and we kind of have a safe we, we're kind of safe for now because now we have young boys and we want to face Lugano as well so it's gonna be even harder so Basil are far ahead of us now they are they have uh, 18 points in front of they have 18 points ahead of us young boys have 12 points more than us which is still a lot 12 points it's they're far away very far away um there are like 30 no only 30 matches left in the league so if we could just get only the third place it's still good, very good Fourth place is unacceptable though, so third place is the minimum I accept from my squad. Uh, second place is gonna be very difficult, young boys. And it's, I have to say I'm very happy about how it's going because even though I'm getting very frustrated and angry at the game, I've never actually had that much of a channel a challenge in a career mode. I've made the difficulty a bit hard, difficulty a bit harder for me because playing peasant thief I'm not ultimate with sliders and still better I legendary is good enough for me and this league is very hard man top 10 clubs in the country are difficult to face them four times and stay at your best so seven losses and two draws I've got from four, 23 matches I've got 14 wins though which is still good our goal which is always got getting higher as we go on and uh, finally we're getting the right balance I think this formation is gonna be a good one for us but look at the defense guys 33 goals against when young when Basil have only got 12 in 23 matches guys hope you've liked subscribe and have a good one peace see you to the next episode goodbye